you feel me? Uh, partner, um, the sidetrack, I kind of lost my train of thought. But what I'm gonna touch on is very, very essential to be touched on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reiterate the points I made in the random clip. And that's, uh, the fact that, that, um, for all practical purpose, purposes, God is a non-factor. Now, I know y'all may think, oh, he's an atheist or whatever, we won't watch it, fam. Well, in reality, we gotta deal with the reality, fam. You know what I'm saying? At least, at least for a second, think about this, 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 this thing. And for a long time, people have used God as a safety. You see what I'm saying? And God has become an impediment to our growth and development. So not saying God doesn't exist, but the concept of God that we have is counterproductive. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it hurts and harms our, you know what I'm saying, growth and development. And our, and our evolution as, as a people. So, and I say this because people tend to look, I wrote a, I got a book about coming out, talking about this shit too, but um, I'm going to touch on some of the points, and what uh, what it is though, like I said, God becomes my excuse for why we don't have our shit together, you know what I'm saying, because it's kind of like, it's kind of like having your big brother behind you is going to fight your battles for you, you know what I'm saying, so therefore you never become a responsible being, you know what I'm saying, but Dr. Malachi New York, uh, which you always teach me, is that the helping hand that you are looking for is at the end of your own arm. The helping hand that you're looking for is at the end of your own arm. So, if there is a God, you see what I'm saying, uh, that being or those beings has given us everything that we need plus to do whatever it is we need to do in life, whatever it is we want to do. Because the universe is very abundant, you know what I'm saying? We've been equipped with everything we need, so now it's on us, you know what I'm saying? And now, but since God has given us all these things, we're still looking at God like God bunny is and shit. We're looking at God like, oh God, take care of me. But when you were born, you were taken care of. Everything you need was given to you. It's within your being. It's within your, it's within your mind, within your heart, within the environment, within nature. Everything you need in abundance is here. It's like, it's like, but our, us human beings are going, are starving within whole foods. It's like we, we're in whole foods and we're starving. All the, all the food that we need is here. We, we, we're in a fertile garden. But we're starving because we don't, we don't, we not, we not willing to reach our arm out to get that mango. We're not willing to reach our arm out to get that some kale greens. So it's like it's weird, and I'm saying like it, it, it boggles my mind. Like for example, when people, when people see like for example, you might see a uh, on the news a four year old girl get shot in the face, and niggas be like, oh God, and they pray about it. You know what I'm saying? God gonna take care of that. God took, if God is his God took care of that when he made your ass. That's, that's when God took care of that shit. When you were born, that's that's God's way of taking care of the social ills, the ills that are going on in the planet. We are the ones that are supposed to repair and refine life and existence. You know what I'm saying? And we, we, we be playing with this shit, fam. Like, a motherfucker would get sick, and we'd be like, oh, we're going to pray for that sick person. Opposed to studying the body, studying anatomy, studying physiology, and studying natural health, and finding out how to heal that individual. It's available, fam. You know what I'm saying? But we have been so fucking uh, uh, twisted and made so irresponsible and so childlike that we don't want to understand the sciences that we need to know to do what we gotta do. And that 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 irks me. That's, that's that's why that's why some that's why a lot of people become uh, so called atheists um, because they know that God has the, the concept of God. You know what I'm saying? Not God. God is just not the concept of God. I mean, not God, but the concept of God. Has, has done more harm to the planet than anything else. The concept of God that we have we have we have adapted to in the modern world has done more to harm human beings probably than any other thing on the planet. And I know I might I might not get a lot of likes on this on this particular clip, but I'm I'm you know what I'm saying keep that shit you know what I'm saying what it is and and say what's from my heart. You know what I'm saying I've never been the type of nigga to you know what I'm saying I I can't really hold I can't really lie to a motherfucker. I ain't really good at lying. You know what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell niggas what it is, and our concept of God has has kept us as a uh, immature, um, decadent, goofy, depraved, disgusting human being. So either 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 we can throw the God concept out, throw that shit out, or like I said, and reformulate the concept of God that empowers us. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, I would suggest that if there is a God, you know what I'm saying, that particular being has given us everything that we need. Plus, in abundance, to do whatever it is we need to do. So it's on us. We're the ones. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of niggas go around and, and clap and, and, and say thank God. You feel me? But I feel like the true way we thank God is by utilizing 
what we've been given. It's like a, a person, a child, may get a toy from his mother, right? And say, oh, mommy, thank you for my toy. But how do you really so thank for that toy is by playing with the toy, by enjoying the toy, and doing the things that, 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 that your mother expects you to do with that toy. But if you, you take the toy and you break the head off the toy, you throw that shit on, on the ground and do, do things with it, it's like you don't really have appreciation for that toy. So we've been given this life, you feel me? We've been given this, this beautiful, marvelous, magnificent life, and we're throwing that shit in the goddamn mud. We're throwing it in the gutter, and then on Sundays or Friday or Saturday, we say, God, thank you for what you've been. You know what I'm saying? Thank, thank you for my life. But in the meantime, we eating pork chops, you know what I'm saying? Smoking squares. And, and, the, and defiling the planet. You see what I'm saying? We talking about thank God. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, that's that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be humble and shit, but reality, that's that's bullshit, man. How you so thanks to the, to the Most High is to becoming the Most High. You heard? Like, that's how you show thanks to God. You know what I'm saying? My man, Akil, in the book called Niggas of God, he was like, yeah, he said, don't praise God, become God. And that, that's not blasphemy, fam. That's what it's supposed to be. We're supposed to become what we're supposed to become, God. If you really love God, you should love God so much that, you, that you, you lose yourself and you merge with that being. You merge with the Almighty, fam. This is that real G-O-D one-on-one type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like being becoming God. That's the process we, we, are, we are about unfolding. And if you're not willing to do that, then you really don't have love for God. You see what I'm saying? Because if you really have love for someone, you see what I'm saying? You will, you will, you, come on, let's not play with this shit, man. So, that's what I'm gonna put out for now, man. How much time I got left? Oh, I got a lot of time. So, yeah, man, we have, we have to really demonstrate this thing and really mature ourselves and step up, you know what I'm saying? Step our, step our understanding up and not be so, you know what I'm saying? So low, you know what I'm saying? Like, our potential is very, very great and very, it's, it's, all, it's, it's through the roof, you see what I'm saying? We, 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 we are, we are, according to scripture, according to scripture, the most of us read, we are made in the image and likeness of the most high. So how can we be made in the image and likeness of the most high, but still act like motherfucking losers? You see what I'm saying? We, we, we come, we come from, we are the lineage of the omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient being, but we acting like, we can't get out, we can't, you know what I'm saying, we paying rent to a tour, to the, to, to him. You know what I'm saying? We paying rent to this cat right here. Our, our children not even, you know what I'm saying, flame my hots all day. This, this is the lower from the low. If we are a royal being, we are of a royal lineage, we should be we should be experiencing the best. And when I say the best, I'm not talking about the best of what they offer. The white the white boy in his, his his corporate society, I'm talking about the best of what the divine world offers, which is wisdom, which is intelligence, which is love, which is family, which is productivity. These are the final things in life. Not not motherfucking uh uh escalade, if you know on 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 twenty eight inch rims. That's 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 artificial luxury. True luxury, you know what I'm saying, is like I said, wisdom, love, marriage, family, children, you feel me? Like real shit, smiles, nigga, greatness. That's, that's, that's luxury, you see what I'm saying? So we have to realize what our position is and what we are supposed to do in this world. And we're supposed to become the guys we've been praying to. A man, Dr. Yo, used to talk about, he said, we're still trying to worship. We are still trying to worship when we were that which was worship. We are the God we, we've been praying to and seeking all these years. And I'm not trying to say this to, to sound philosophical. That's not my intent to boost your goddamn ego. That's not what I'm talking about. Because the, 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 the true thing, the true aspect of God, I'm trying to say, is creating universes. You see what I'm saying? From your highest ideas. That's what I'm talking about. Not just saying by saying God and saying peace God. You know what I'm saying? All that type of try to talk slick. That's not the intent. By saying that there's no one out there to save you. My man, my man, my man, nobody's always say, Jesus is just us. We are those beings, man. We are the ones who must take initiative and, and hold this thing down. Holistically. This is this is what I'm saying to you. It's not to make you feel good. I'm not I'm not, I'm not a feel I'm not a feel good uh preacher or feel good preach, you heard me? Or a motivational speaker. That's not what I, that's not what this is about. This is motherfucking that you no, know, what I would call real shit. Not to sound like a like a cliche, but it's, it's real shit. This is real shit, one on one, right here. And you becoming the GOD that you are, and not just saying, like saying that shit, like I said, put it on the shelf, but doing that and going out here and manifesting your highest ideals, manifesting the greatness that, that you are supposed to have. And like I said, be clear on this shit. A lot of people use the so-called secret and new age thought to be corporate monkeys, to be artificial um, consumers. Just to consume 
the, 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 the filth, you feel me, the artificial luxury of this world. And that's not the intent of what I'm talking about. That's not the intent of sacred work, sacred knowledge. To get that shit to get a, to get a, to get a, um, a Lexus truck. That's not the intent, to get a, to get a, uh, a, a nice home somewhere. Fuck a home, the true home is this right here, this temple. This is your home, you feel me? This is, this is your home, the planet is your home. That's the, that's, that's the true home you must cultivate. You must take pride in and decorate, you know what I'm saying? With, 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 with flowers and trees, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and treat it treat with respect. That's the true home, man. Not fuck, fuck all this having, trying to have buildings. That's, 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 that's artificial, man. And I say you can't have that, but that should not be your goal. The goal should be freedom, enlightenment, intelligence, family, people, human beings. Like these are the truth, the truth shit. We got, we got to start seeking. So uh, understand that, fam. Time is ticking, goddamn it. But you know, we we be on time. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it cracking with uh, part two. But know what I'm talking about, man. This is not no play shit. Some shit just to go in one ear out the other. This is real fucking shit, man. I, I swear to, you know what I'm saying? I, that's, my, that's my word. And I ain't never said that shit yet on this tape. This is the realest shit, you know what I'm saying? That niggas gotta know. We gotta know. We gotta not only know it, but live this shit. Because Noble Jolly said, man knows not by being told. But a man must know, he must be what he knows. Be this shit. Be what you know. Otherwise, you don't know shit. You know what I mean? It ain't just, like I said, philosophical shit. It's just to sound cute. To sound deep. To get, to get sisters, you know what I'm saying, to want to fuck you. To get niggas to want to fuck with you. You see what I'm saying? It's about transforming the lives of humanity. Transforming your own self. Transforming the planet in a, in a, in a way that's consistent with divine, divine intent. With cosmic intent. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to sound deep. This is real. This is just real basic, plain, but reality, man. Just deal with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Wholeheartedly. We got, we got a nation to raise, man. We got a, we got a planet to uplift. This is not the idea. This is practical shit. Practical. Get out here in the video. We still got programs out here to get this shit cracking. So this is all practical shit. So after you, after you get, you know what I'm saying, boosted up by whatever, whatever's being spoken, you know what I'm saying, from him, from me or somebody else, just get out here in the vineyard and do work. I got assignments. You looking for assignment? I got something for you. I got some assignments for you, for y'all. You see what I'm saying? It ain't just me. It's just us. Cause I'm working too. I'm, I'm assigning myself as well. So there ain't no hierarchy type shit. We all, we all gotta, gotta pitch in and put in work. That's the intent, man. Real deal, here, man. Let's rise up and get take the shit back. Straight up. Almighty.